Hello everyone. So this video was shared yesterday and it shows yet another Russian convoy being targeted by HIMARS. Eight vehicles are seen in this convoy highlighted in blue here. However, there are more in the trees which we'll get to later. So we see a HIMARS rocket fly in. This one landing in a field, followed shortly by cluster rounds impacting the trucks at the front. This is followed by a big explosion at the rear after a second HIMARS rocket strike landing near one of the trucks. The third HIMARS rocket initially looks like a miss as we see it landing in the water with a big splash. But I'll get to that soon, it isn't a miss. But shortly after that, we see more cluster munitions impacting around some of the trucks. The drone then shows the aftermath showing a number of damaged and destroyed trucks scattered around the area. Now, while some of these may look okay from the air, we've seen in past videos and photos of the aftermath of high mars strikes like this, that these will be an absolute mess close up and not usable anymore. From the drone feed, there looks to be more trucks here than originally thought, as some are in the trees. But before we have a look at the strike itself, I think we'll try and determine how many trucks were hit here. First though, let's get orientated. So these strikes took place in the area shown, the convoy strung out among these trees and near the lake. This is north of Shevchenko in Donetsk as you can see when we zoom out, and when we turn to deep states it is pretty much in between Orlivka and Donetsk city. Now we know where this was, let's check what exactly was here. Eight vehicles are highlighted here, however the final three on the left hand side were not hit by the high miles rounds, so these three likely survive, unless a far flung bit of debris managed to bonk them. However, when we get drone feed from the top, we see even more. Seven trucks in this screenshot here. Four of them we already saw in the first screenshot. Plus, one of the trucks looks to have a small utility vehicle or car next to it. In the bottom right now, I've added a screenshot from earlier in the video. So, these seven trucks plus one car were in the area highlighted in red which was hit by cluster munitions. Eight vehicles total. Two more trucks plus another car next to one. These are in the area highlighted in red in the screenshot now added to the bottom corner. So one of these trucks wasn't known about, same as the little car. So in total, nine Ural trucks hit by HIMARS here. Two light utility vehicles or cars. A pretty good strike, I must say. Now, let's have a closer look at the HIMARS rockets we saw in the video and see how many were used. Here, we can see a rocket coming in to land in the field. At first I thought this was a dud, as there was no boom. However, a second later, we see cluster munitions hit. So this isn't a miss or a dud, it's for HIMARS canister falling after releasing the airburst cluster. Here highlighted as the second HIMARS, a regular HIMARS round it seems as there's no cluster spread afterwards, and I don't see a tungsten spread either but it is possible it was tungsten and just not fully visible in this video. Here's the third one. Once again, the canister are falling into the pond as a second later, we see the cluster hit. Now, highlighted in red is another truck. This is in the area of a cluster strike, but wasn't shown in Ukraine's aftermath video. So, this could possibly be disabled as well, but as it wasn't shown by Ukraine, I won't add it to the tally. So, a most excellent strike by Ukraine here. Not the first time we've seen HIMARS taking out convoys like this, and this won't be the last. And in those past times, we saw a close photo or video of the aftermath showing the trucks were a complete mess. So, I expect the same will be the case here. Hopefully we'll get photos or videos from the ground, to be sure. So, that's it for this video. Hope you found it interesting. Now, I'm going to play a video from the Ukraine Volunteer Centre. Thanks so much, and take care everybody. Good afternoon. Greetings from the Ukrainian Volunteer Center. Kursk region. Ukrainian soldiers and the Ukrainian people showed Russia that we will not be broken. We have shown that international support is very important to us and we are using it to the maximum effect. Now, there is an urgent need for drones and vehicles. That is why we are announcing a new fundraising. For Volkswagen T5, for the soldiers in the Sumay direction, and two Mavic 3T drones for the guys in the Donetsk sector, where we are having a hard time. The goal of fundraising is $18,000.